Oh boy, here we go. The last one was uh, Have Faith. It had 30 different plot points. And today, as you can see on the screen, we are doing The Shunning from 2011, which actually is rated higher. It's rated at a 6.3. I can't tell you what's going on in this movie because it doesn't have a plot. There's no plot at all. I mean, I have to read the uh, description here. Beautiful Katie Lapp has always felt something missing her simple Amish existence until a mysterious Englisher comes to Lancaster County. Hey, Brian Denlinger, looking at you, buddy. Lancaster County, looking for the baby girl she gave up for adoption 19 years ago. Nothing in the movie tells me that. Nothing in the movie tells me that. There's some rich lady driving around in a limo. I don't know anything what's going on. I don't know what's going on with this stuff. There is no plot. There is no plot at all. Do you think that that gets that gets resolved? That whole thing with the with the Eng mysterious English woman? No, it doesn't get resolved. I would have to spoil it because it's stupid. It ends with the girl riding a bus. That's what it. That's what it ends with. It's bad. It's a bad movie. And it is a made-for-television thing, but I'm sure it had more than more of a budget than two hundred thousand dollars, like the the last movie that I watched. Oh man, what were people thinking when they made this? It has zero redeeming factors, other than I guess you could say the acting was okay, but they made Amish people look like the biggest jerks on the planet. As in, really, really, really bad. Like, really bad. And they made them look very cult leaderish and incredibly mind controlling and absolutely terrible people. That's what this movie did. It made everybody in the, in the, in the entire show look like the biggest jackasses on the planet. And it didn't have a plot. There was no plot. Here. I mean, it already spoils it in the thing. Um, some girl was raised by Amish people. Basically adopted. By some rich lady. That's it. That's the story. That's the story. And Amish people are jerks. That's the story, too. That's the story. The Shunning, 2011. 3.5 out of 10. Bad movie. It's bad, and it's boring. And it's one that you would, for entertainment purposes, you would sit there and watch to make fun of and do a mystery science theater thing. It's really bad. And it's not the actor's fault. It's just what they're given. I mean, the screenplay is terrible. I mean, like, how do you write a screenplay that has no plot? When I was saying before, with Have Faith, where you have 30 different plot threads. And that's cool. But you have a setup and you have a payoff. This movie sets up basically nothing. There is one setup, but there is no payoff. And then it just kind of ends. What a disappointment. What a disappointment. So that's what we have for The Shunning 2011. Yup.